morning guys welcome to 2023 and today a short ta video i hope you all really enjoyed your new year's eve i really need to have one day rest yesterday i re needed to recover I, I had too many drinks too many drinks on new year's eve but it was a beautiful evening with a huge crypto community here on uh, phuket beach also with my family my brother my sister of course uh, it was amazing and i'm wishing you again all the love happiness luck a shitload of bitcoins and everything else that you desire for 2023 but now jumping into my first video of 2023 a short one short ta to show you because a lot of people are afraid of a bearish engulfing candle on the yearly chart. A bearish engulfing candle could mean a couple of years of bearishness. So I'm gonna check that chart and tell you what my opinion is. Now let's quickly jump into uh, a few charts over bam, here. Now this is the first chart guys. This is the four hour chart. On that four hour chart, we see the bam bam indicator. Um, the bam bam was calling here for that beautiful um, long over there. Here again, a long. We have a green area in the bottom and the blue line was above the white line. So it's a quadruple confirmation of the taking that long. It would be a beautiful long and um, would have been a long of around 0.5% uh, at the moment without leverage. If you use leverage, of course, and um, yes, you have a bigger trade. Uh, talking about leverage and trading for 2023, I want you all to understand the most important part is to protect your bitcoins from exchanges like ftx screw up for me there's only uh, two exchanges that i really trust at the moment one is bybit because i really think they are transparent and the liquidity is perfect and their team is amazing and yes they are taking the steps for a bear market but they will be back in huge numbers i think in the bull market again so i think bybit is very trustable but when it comes to completely trusting um, the market you should be trading on a decentralized exchange you should connect your wallet a hardware wallet or your non-custodial software wallet on your iPhone or the MetaMask to an exchange to trade and I know that you want to trade with leverage so I would always bam trade over here because if you want to trade you check the charts bam bam do I go long do I go short whatever you do and then you go to this one apex apex pro the link is down below the video guys click that link because this uh, exchange will change everything for you because here you have full custody on your own tokens while you can trade with leverage i'm just going to quickly show it and the chart that i was talking about will come at the end so give me a few minutes um, i will connect very quickly here with my wallet up sign sign bam and I am connected guys and now you can see that my wallets are connected and I can do a trade I can take this trade for example the four hour let's say I think that we will go bullish so I would say for example all the, all the price here 16555 uh, let's say a $500 trade with a leverage of 10 you can set your leverage over there 5 1 15 30 whatever you want confirm um, you buy your long over there Bam. your dollar order has been filled in a decentralized way your bitcoins are still in your custody it's not on this exchange it's in your wallet so it's on your wallet that is your connect i connected the metamask over there you can see the top right now uh, let's see in a couple of days what the trade will do now let's quickly bam jump to this chart that i think that is very important and this is the monthly chart and on this monthly chart guys we can see something really interesting we can see that at the moment we have this green candle being built so we are higher than we opened this month this is of course january 2023 the thing on the monthly that i want to show you is that yes the bam bam indicator over there gave a short of course and yes it gave a long over there so that's two good calls um, and it's about to give that long again because the, you see the red area getting thinner and that means there will be a moment that come there will be a long and that's also what here the macd is showing us look pinkish is getting less and less and every time that happens in history when that gets less you see we get green again so wherever we go in history I might need to do this a little bit more like that, to show you when the red turns into pinkish and gets less we get green again red pinkish green red pinkish green red pinkish and after that we will see green again and that green will be that long and will be that beautiful new uh, bull run that will start and go all the way up to the halving here in march april 2024 
So we are zooming out a little bit more. This chart over here is uh, the three month chart. So it's like quarterly chart. And in this quality chart, we can see something very interesting. We can see here, one, two, three red candles. Here, one, two red candles. Here, one, two, three red candles. There's a full history, guys. We're starting here somewhere in 2011. And now, it's the first time in Bitcoin's history, we have four red candles. And that one is increasing, uh, that one is creating that uh, bearish engulfing. But I'm going to show you it a little bit better even now. But now we see a green candle. Of course, we opened and we still need to close this one in two months. So uh, let's see if that will open more bullish as a green candle or again a red candle. That would be the fifth red candle, which has never happened in history. And that is why people are freaking out. Because if I uh, set this chart now to the 12 months, so a yearly chart, we can see exactly what it is doing. Normally, we have a huge uh, green candle and then we have a small red candle huge green candle small red candle this time we had a small green candle and we had a huge red candle so that's the opposite of all these other candles and that's what they call a bearish engulfing and um, i'm going to show you for example on this website what does it mean it means that if the red candle the body opens above the green candle and the body closes below that green candle that's the start of a bearish engulfing and we go downwards like here you can see it in text so the bearish candle opens at or above the previous candle's close and the bearish candle closes below. This is what they call a bearish engulfing uh, candle. The other way around would be a bullish engulfing pattern where the green candle opens down below the red and closes above the red. That's a bullish engulfing, okay? But that's a short history lesson. Pa pause the video, go to the website to get a little bit more. But if we look now here, people are now freaking out about this bearish engulfing but if we look the other way around, did we also see bullish engulfing candles? We never saw that on the yearly. So, for example, here, this is not a bullish engulfing candle. This, this candle here, it's smaller than the red one, but still Bitcoin get went up. This is not a bullish engulfing candle. It's not opening below and closing above, so it's smaller than the red one, but still Bitcoin went up. So for me, I don't believe that bearish engulfing candle theory because the bullish engulfings also didn't work out. They didn't work out. So why would this bearish now work out and create this huge Bitcoin fall? I don't believe that. I still believe that, bam, whatever we say, we will, we will create new all-time highs in Bitcoin. And these all-time highs can uh, not be exactly as predicted as, for example, the stock-to-flow model of Plan B. We never know, but at least, in average, the price is still rising. Not as steeply as in the beginning, but less volatile. But that means, again, if we see these huge dark blue areas, these areas that you should be buying, the dark blue areas here and here, we can see that we are creating that again. The green line is way below the levels of the other previous bear market levels so there will be again a bullish engulfing and then we will go maybe hit that 60k uh, level again or maybe even higher here to the 100k levels we don't know but the, the chart in my opinion is not going to the, turn downwards like this all the way to the right bottom corner in 2028 and my opinion is only going up and the reason for that is very simple the reason is that bitcoin is not dead it's not dead. It has been declared many times. Bitcoin is still there. If there is a war, an economical crisis, if there whatever the shit is happening in this world, flus and all that shit, Bitcoin is surviving this. Because Bitcoin doesn't depend only on human beings. Bitcoin is a technology. It is set free for human beings to use as a beautiful tool to store value, as a beautiful tool to exchange value, and as a beautiful tool to trade and do any other thing that you can do now in the traditional market on the Bitcoin blockchain. And this is what we call an evolution of technology. And in the beginning, not many people will be using that technology, but in the end, people will all be using the technology, just like the internet. Nobody was using it in the beginning. Nobody was using email, but was still sending postcards. At the end, nobody is sending postcards. Everybody's using email, the internet, to get access to all that decentralized information that the whole world now um, is receiving because of the internet. Everyone has access to information because of the blockchain and Bitcoin. 
everyone will have access to this new monetary system that is being built by the people. That is why I believe that Bitcoin is going to be massively important in the next couple of decades. And that is why all these countries are adapting to the Bitcoin standard and making Bitcoin a legal tender. More and more countries are going to do this in 2023 again. You will see. Now, that was everything for this first video of 2023. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and friends, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. Why do you think that Bitcoin is so important? And what do you think about the Bitcoin price for 2023? Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow again. And